go on holiday. It's your first day. You're excited to do your makeup after a long day at the beach. You take your makeup bag and you realize you forgot to pack your brushes. But it's fine because at least you have your sponge. This has been me way too many times. So trust me when I tell you, you only need a sponge to do a full face of makeup. I do have to say, you need cream products for this. If you only own powdered products, you're f I'm sorry. A sponge is not gonna save you. But I'm assuming most of us these days own a bunch of cream products. So yeah, let's get into it. The most important thing right here is to wet your sponge properly. I don't know how many times I see people using them either dry or just spraying a little bit of setting spray or water or a little bit of something and they're good to go. No, they're not. Let me take you to the bathroom real quick and let me show you how to actually wet the sponge. Grab your dry makeup sponge and drench it in water. We want it fully, fully soaked. This step is optional, but if you don't want to be gross, please clean your sponges. Mine is actually clean right now. Just put a little bit. I use the Isoclean sponge cleaner just because they sent it to me and in my brain, it's like, okay, I'm gonna use something that it's, that it's actually for sponges and not something random because this is just going to go on my face right after I'm done cleaning it, you know? Anyways, clean it up. This is very self-explanatory, what do I tell you? I mean, right now it's quite clean, so nothing, nothing is coming out. Well, now make sure you get all the soap out. Try to get all the water out, and then either with the towel or paper towel, try to get all the water out. This is how the sponge should look like after wetting it correctly. Very soft. It's wet, but it's dry, you know, if that makes any sense. I know it's a little bit annoying to go and do that like every single time you do your makeup. But trust me, this is going to make the difference, especially if you only have this as your makeup tool. You really want to get the most out of it, right? Anyways, let's get into it. Okay, this is going to be very self-explanatory. I'm assuming you all know how to use a sponge, but... I'm just going to run you through each step that I do and hopefully you can learn something new. There are obviously some steps that they don't require any tool. The product itself is the tool, so that's good. The brows, for example, I don't need anything extra. Same thing for the brow pen. I'm very lazy when it comes to my brows, so I just want something quick and easy, just like that. For the primer, we can obviously use our hands. Mix these two together for a nice base, bronzy base. Let's continue with the foundation. Well, it's not gonna be a foundation, it's gonna be a skin tint, as per usual. If we're not using any brushes, I would recommend to put everything on the back of your hand and picking it up with the sponge, rather than apply it directly to the face. Not me going straight. That's what I actually do, so I'm sorry. Don't do that. So I'm gonna apply a little bit on the back of my hand. Actually, instead of grabbing it right directly, if I grab it directly with this sponge, what is going to happen is that there's gonna be a big stain right here. And that's not ideal. Best way to do it is to grab it with your finger. Just place it in your face. So it's already prepped for the sponge later. This way, most of the work is already done and the sponge doesn't have to work that hard if that makes sense. basically with no effort we have a blended base let's grab our concealer now i'm going to do the same thing just apply it on the back of my hand so so i can control it better if we want to get the most coverage out of it i suggest to go with the finger instead with the sponge so for now i'm going to just apply it very roughly on my acne marks and all that stuff and let it sit for a little bit. Also gonna apply it on my under eyes. Now I'm gonna go and blend and tap everything very gently. You want to be very gentle.
This couple of steps were very easy, very straightforward. I always use a brush for the bronzer. This is where things are going to get a little bit more different, but not that different, like it's going to be easy. So I wouldn't recommend to go straight in with the product just because it's gonna be harder to blend with only a sponge, it's gonna take longer. So once again, I'm going to just apply it on the back of my hand. This way I'm also warming it up and it's going to kind of melt. And now I'm going to dab the sponge right in there. Just get all the product in and now go on the cheeks. Press that in. This actually helps so, so much with the blending. You basically don't have to do anything at all like it's very quick you will never have any harsh lines so maybe forgetting your brushes is more of a blessing than a curse anyways let's do the same thing for the other side the only bad thing about doing this i feel like it's that you you're going to use more product i have to put more for the other side it's not bad bad like it just it is what it is right and we're going to do the same thing with the blush. Basically, depending on which blush you have, you will want to put it on the back of your hand. But I'm going to use this one. See, it's, it's very flat. I usually wouldn't like to do this, but I'm going to dip directly onto the product. Nice. And now I'll just tap, tap, tap. And as you can see, like, this is like zero effort. Everything looks so blended together. With just a few tabs. I'm actually not mad at this technique at all. Okay, for the powder now, I hate doing this. I literally hate it, but there's no other choice right now. So I'm going to dip in the sponge onto the loose powder. Tap the excess. Make sure there are no creases. Very lightly go in. I don't love this technique, but I have to say it's not looking bad. It's not looking bad at all. Main reason why I don't like it is because I think the sponge gets gross, but the skin is looking fresh. You know, the sponge is wet, this is powder, it's kind of melting everything together very nicely. I don't want to say this, but I might. I might like this technique more than I thought I did. That was really quick, wasn't it? I feel like I need some more glow on my cheeks. I'm going to use my trusty new stick balm. For this, I just need my finger. Gives a very natural glow, has no glitter, no muffin in it. It's just like a balm. I feel like the blush kind of went away, so I'm going to add more, basically. Now for the eyes, we obviously have no brushes to make any complicated look. I think the easiest way, taking a tiny little bit of bronzer, take your sponge just like earlier, just dab it across your eyelids to give them a little bit of dimension. Same thing as I would do with a powder bronzer. Now we have like a little base or something. We can do the same thing with some blush to make everything very cohesive. Apply that a little bit all over. At this point, I would add like some shimmer, something just with my finger. LH Cosmetics shimmers. I'll just, I'll just grab a little bit with my finger. Pop that in. It's gonna give a beautiful wet kind of look. Minimal, easy, using no brushes at all. Now you can curl your bra brushes. Now you can curl your lashes. I already did that. So I'm gonna go straight in the mascara obviously the mascara it's a tool itself we can obviously go in with a little bit of eye pencil on the waterline we could even do an eyeliner with this just like this just apply a little bit on here now with your nails Done. Now let's just finish off with some lip liner. I'm just going to use some of the blush. Ok, 
Okay, and this will be it. We just did all this with only one sponge. And I think it looks pretty decent. If you ever forgot your brushes, at least remember to buy your sponge. Or maybe you can actually buy just one sponge wherever you are. I've definitely been in that situation a few times, so... I'm not even mad about it because it actually makes it so easy to blend everything together and everything looks very seamless, very natural as well. Everything that I use will be linked down below as always. Let me know if this has happened to you before or let me know any other video ideas that you'd like to see in my channel, comment down below. I really hope this was somehow helpful for you. Thank you so, so much if you're still here and I will see you in the next one. Bye!